sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the uh, software to make a ham radio clock. Now, a lot of people have seen this. It's been around on the Internet for a couple years now. But uh, I thought I'd make a little video on how to install this. It's pretty straightforward. So I'll throw a link in the description to my website for more information but we're just going to go ahead and install this and it can be done with just a couple commands here on the uh, Raspberry Pi now it's asking if we want to proceed we'll just say yes and now it's going to go through and install any dependencies or whatnot we might need and the software so we'll just let this go all right, so now it's asking us for the uh, size of the uh, display that we're using. Now, I'm using like a 20-inch monitor here. So we're just going to gamble here and select number three. So you select the one that uh, best fits your situation. Now it's asking us if we want a desktop icon, so we'll just say yes. Do you want it to start automatically on boot? We can say yes. Force clock to use full screen. We can say yes. And we're going to reboot now. So we'll be back. All right. So now I'm VNC'd into it here. So this application will definitely run a lot better on a Pi 4. So I'm using a Pi 3 right now for the purpose of this video. But here it is. And there's a lot going on. So we have the uptime or IP, the version of the software, our call sign here, time, date, uh, December 5.30, December 12th, lat long, and so on. We have uh, the uh, earth here. Sunspot, Go16, then we have this stuff over here. Now you can change this here by just clicking on View. All right, what I forgot about was if you see this little lock here, this is how you can exit the program, but you can also lock it so uh, you don't accidentally click on something you don't want here. But as you can see, we have a different options here that we could choose. Then we could just click the OK button. So we're a little froze up here. As you can see, the time's jumping. So like I said, it's a little hard for the Pi 3 to run this. Now, it might run a little better on the Pi 3 B+. Plus, and it should be OK with the 4. So anyway, we're just going to change this here. And we can just click OK. And there we go. So, <clears throat> like I said, there's a lot going on. So let's go ahead, exit this, so we can make changes because we have to update some information here. So we're going to click and hold down on the lock button here for like three to four seconds. And that should get us out of here there we go so now we're just going to exit yes then we're going to start this back up because it's going to ask us if we want to change some things around here and we're just going to click and here's where we can edit our information here so we can just hit delete and you can just either type in or we can go down here and click on your call sign you can put in your lat long <clears throat> you can do this which we're not using Wi-Fi once you're done we can just click in and I, I'm, I was thinking I was running this on the Pi 3, but actually it is the Pi 4, 4 gig version. So if we click page 2, 
Now it's going to come up here with some other different information. If we click on this again, I guess my biggest problem is it's got a decent lag with the uh, DNC. So then we can set up our sat and everything here. And if we click it again, it comes back to our main screen. So if we click, click done, now obviously it's going to show this stuff, so we can click skip. And now we're back to this. So while we are in here, we are going to pull up H top once and see what we're doing here. So we're using one to two cores here the most. So it's definitely taking some CPU to run this, which obviously makes sense by the graphics. But uh, if you're not VNC'd into it, it would definitely run a lot smoother. So, well, like I said, hopefully this kind of helps out, gets you started on how to install this and set it up a little bit. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one.